Welcome to This Is Important, a production of iHeartRadio, the show where we talk about what's obviously most critically, crucially important. Today on This Is Important. Why his religious family fears he's possessed by the devil. My shit is so swampy, dude. I hate it. I am Q. Yo, I did YouTube from seventh grade to high school and like, I'm good to go. Strap in. What up, dudes? <laughs> what up, dudes? Uh, can I get two real right out the gate? Just get two real with you guys. With What's uh, up? Th- three do my, we have a choice? Three of my best friends. You do not because I am speaking to you Steam now. rolling. Yeah, uh, what up? Real talk. I have to have, uh, there. You're, it's kind of almost mandatory to have groomsmen in a wedding, and I need uh, uh-uh. uh, you guys to be my groomsmen. Will you uh, say yes to that? What do you think? Oh. Oh, oh my God. I mean, well. <laughs> well. I, I, you I can say, say no. You I can say, say no. I'm, yeah, I'll do it. Okay, we Hell got one. Yeah. We got one. You got one. You got one. We got one. Uh... Who's next? Okay, who's next? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to say, next? hell yeah, brother. I'm okay. in. Okay. Yes. Uh, you, were, you were searching for a button there that you <laughs> no. didn't find. I was like, do I make this a special moment or do I hit him with a... Yeah, baby. Okay. Well, <laughs> yeah. 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 There it is. well yeah, that to me good. is a special moment. You know, yeah, your, your fingers great. tickling those keys. That's special. Kyle, last... My but brother. Certainly, at least. What's up? <laughs> My brother. My brother. Adam. Yes, mm-hmm. Adam Devine. Yes, dog. It would be an honor. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right. Yes. Thanks, guys. Hey, whoever's Three. editing this, can you turn up Adam's cue right before Blake hit that? Just try and pump so all the juice out of yes. Adam going like, yes. Blake, 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 Blake. <laughs> And uh, and Adam, do we want to tell the listeners about the raffle we're having for the uh, for the sixth spot? Yes. <laughs> yeah. uh, it's all over the socials. That, the six groom men. That would be so tight. That would be so tight. And actually, I gotta hurry up and ask the uh, the other groomsmen. Um, yeah. Because I haven't yet, and uh, this episode's gonna air soon, and then and then they're gonna listen and be like, oh, "What the fuck, dude?" Dude, how have you decided how many on either side? Like. Yeah, what's the rules with that? Uh, yeah, I think there's there's going to be six on my side, four on Chloe's side. So, oh, okay. uh, so there'll be two extras. And, we, and, uh, man, when we got when know. when me and my wife got married, we rolled deep. We had nine on a side. Garo, that's tough, man. Wait, wait, whoa. Yeah, she's got a big family though. She's got a big family, right? She got a big family, and we so there's like built-in sisters and brothers on each side, and it was then mostly friends. friends, dude. It was it was just a lot of friends. It was like we just rolled deep. We couldn't make the choice. It's hard. We rolled deep. You couldn't cut people loose. I cut motherfuckers loose. I was like, sorry, man. Yeah, you. Had, I thought you had quite I, a few. Well, you have your brothers, and then us. What I have seven or seven or eight. That's big. Yeah, that's seven big. or eight is big. Adam just said six. Yeah, what's the norm? <laughs> is there a norm? You said nine. <laughs> I know. I said nine. Yeah, but seven yeah. or eight is still big. Well, I think nine is gigantic. Uh, nine agreed. is like when you uh, when you get married at eighteen and just all of your high school homies, like Fat Tony, Big right. Steve, Little Rob, like they all have nicknames and they're all in your wedding. Mm-hmm. You, yeah. Uh, didn't uh didn't uh, our buddy Thomas told us that like the whole purpose of groomsmen was like you picked your friends who were the best sword fighters just in That's case right. somebody mm. rolled in to try to break your shit up. That's your okay, guys. Then I take I take the ask back. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm taking it back. No, it's very true. That's like the meaning of it is like the best man is your best swordsman. The person who has your what back the sort best. Of... Yes, I I don't think mm-hmm. that's true. At all. And then your groomsmen are also fighters. Okay. What, what do you think it is? Yeah. Your best friend. The groomsmen? What, the, your boys who, like, do your makeup for you and shit? No, it's just your homie. That's what it is now. We're talking about the beginning of this. Yeah, it's a best, the, it's your best friend. It's it's the guy that you're the closest with that is going to help you with the... I'm going to the internet. I never go to the fucking internet. I'm going to the internet. I, I like that they, they go, you don't understand the correlation? It's it's best man, which means the best, best man. man at fighting. <laughs> what? It's best sword. I mean, there might be some history 
back there. It's part of me thinks it's like I know your friend Thomas. He he's a uh, loves a good Renaissance fair. Yes, his dad is like a great fencer, so th that could right. have some. <laughs> yeah, he is. And LARPer. Yeah. So uh, so part of me is like, he's he's taking you down this road of the Renaissance and giving you extra facts. When you're walking around, you have your big ass cup of mead. Blake, I'm looking at you. Yeah, you're, a little you're turkey holding leg. a turkey leg. And, and he's like feeding you these fun facts. And you guys are just nibbing them up. You guys are just nibbed. There was something romantic about it. I thought it was pretty cool that you pick your boy who could like fight to the death. All right. Here we go. You ready? And then. What about the uh, the bridesmaids? What are they? They well, that's the down and dirty. Here, wait, wait. Let me get the let me get the real thing here going here. Look, this is what it says when you what? Google the tradition of huh? the best man is thought to have originated with the Germanic Goths of the mm. 16th century. Sick. Oh, nice. He was the best man for specifically the job of stealing the bride from her neighboring community or Ooh. disapproving family. Okay. And, this sounds like and, the yeah. worst part of like the white supremacy. That's <laughs> and he was probably <laughs> that's weird, but and he was probably the best swordsman. Too. The worst part. It says and he was probably the best swordsman. That's the wording. He probably yeah. yeah. <laughs> was probably. Well, yeah, who, what's your source here? What, what is yeah? What is the this source? Is uh, from... Rob's blog uh, at netspace.com. I don't know. It's the thing that comes up right on Google. What is that source? It's like Wikipedia? it's called maybe it's this dot com. You go. Yeah. You type in your question. It goes. Maybe it's this. Google's an amazing. Uh, search engine that you can type in anything you want. You're like, D is the best man, the best man at fighting? And it'll go, yeah. <laughs> no, I said, I didn't do that. Yes. I didn't lead it on. Someone someone said it one time on the internet, so. Sure. I didn't lead yeah. it on, though. But now I'm yeah, getting dude. into something that's crazy. Like, this is what? like in a time when marriage by capture was practiced. Mm. Close friends See? of the groom. <laughs> Would We're gonna assist go. him in taking the bride from her family. They'd form a small army to fight off angry relatives. Like a prank? So that he could escape with her. It's just part of a prank. I love you. This is fucking crazy. Just get in the bag. I love you. It's a prank. Right. It's me. It's, D it's Doug. Uh, Chip wanted me to come over here and steal you. We're gonna get married tomorrow. It's gonna be crazy. Uh, You're finally yeah, gonna have we're, sex. We're gonna go with just more of like a, a current day. Um, yeah, marriage. Yeah, we're not gonna. Yeah, well, the best man plans a bachelor party. No, dude, yeah. we're kidnapping <laughs> Chloe. It's gonna be sick. What the the bummer is is I don't know. I honestly do not know if there will be a batch party. Don't say it. Don't say it. No, I don't know. I don't know, Blakey, and I know that's you just saved your life. Uh, <sighs> how sad that makes you. Well, I because uh, you know it's still COVID times. We're getting married next October. I'm gonna be in Charleston until at least August. Mm. Uh, <sighs> so I d I don't know if uh, if we will get to or not. Wow. Um, I wanted to throw down in Omaha. I mean, I'm, I'm not saying that's where you were gonna do it, but I've never been. Oh, that to your been stomping cool. grounds. Oh, that's yeah. right. You didn't you didn't come uh, when we sh sh shot the uh, Stanley special there. Mm -mm, I don't yep. know where I was. What if you just do uh, the bachelor party like a couple days earlier, you know, like just call the, do it right, right the night before, before the wedding, like a couple <laughs> days before the wedding. Hmm. Yeah, I do that. I just, yeah, just, I spent uh, two weeks down in Mexico. That'd be sick. Yeah. If, how long is your bachelor party? Is it? Iceland. And then just show up swollen face and sunburnt. Yeah. But that, but then you don't want like, uh, you don't like, you know, in case the bachelor party takes some weird wild turns, you don't want people to be like on your wedding day being like, uh oh, there he is, uh, Cinnamon Adam or whatever weird <laughs> nickname I got. And I'm like, I'm not Cinnamon Adam. That, that's I'm not. Cool. I'm not yeah. Cinnamon yeah. Adam. Or you like, you like bust your teeth on something all drunk and gotta get some like bootleg dentist. Oh, for sure. Yeah, I fall down my stairs and just break a femur. And uh, and <laughs> and then I had to get married. Yeah, because I plan on uh, probably losing some teeth. Oh, okay. if you don't lose some teeth during your bachelor party, did you even do it? Did you even? Well, I was hoping to go to uh, New Orleans because I know it really well, and I feel uh -huh. like I could take my boys down there, and we could. Uh, we Have could. Some, uh, we 69, could. dudes! <laughs> yeah, exactly. And thank you. Well said. Uh, but you know what could be fun? is I, Maybe I like rent a, like a 
a house somewhere in like Big Bear or somewhere fairly close where we could all just, uh, you know, do, do dude shit. Yeah. Play cards. I think that's the move. We'll yeah. buy a bunch of guns. We'll, we'll go crazy. Smart. Yeah. Get a bunch of guns. Yeah, that could be fun. Yeah. Make some pipe bombs. There now we're talking. I would love to make pipe bombs with you guys. Yeah, let's, let's fashion some pipe bombs. <laughs> that sounds cool. Pipe bombs? <laughs> well, we just do the... What, what was that shit? The Anarchist Cookbook or whatever? We just download oh, that. Yeah. And, or whatever. You knew exactly what it was. It's out of print now. You can't even <laughs> find it. You gotta get on the dark web to get it. Yeah, baby. Now it's just the internet? Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's just there. Yeah. The dark web is the internet now. I'm pretty sure you could look it up uh, immediately. It's weird that the web became the dark web. There's no control. The anarchist cookbook was always the kid who always had it was the kid who was never going to do shit, but was always like, I could, I could just <laughs> fucking blow this whole place away. <laughs> You're like, are you going to? Well, you're you're not trying to egg them on, Jesus. Right. <laughs> yeah, you don't want the one day to be. No, you you you're sussing them out. You're like, what are you, what are you doing? I like I that. Durs would Nothing. just go face to face with them and be like, you don't have the fucking guts. That's because Durs <laughs> was the one who wanted to do it. <laughs> yeah, I was fucking tearing pages out of it. Do it. Yeah, yeah. There's That's a- like that. T- those times in the movies where the dude's got the gun to the the guy's head and the guy just goes like, do it. Fucking do yeah. it! Oh, I don't wow. care. <laughs> he he put he wraps his mouth around it. And yeah, like, fuck Go it. ahead. Yeah. <laughs> what, what, what? He just starts sucking the, on the barrel. Yeah, is that what you did, that, yeah. yeah, you've never had a dream that you woke up from. I, up? I don't know. Look, so the the, cook, the anarchist cookbook is. <laughs> <laughs> it is. That's a book. I think they did a documentary on the guy who who wrote it, and he like heavily regrets it because I do think a lot of kids. Did use it for fucking shitty shit. Uh, yeah. and he, it was kind of a lark. Yeah, I had a, a neighbor uh, that I knew, um, never really, never really liked the guy, but he uh, he threw a bomb over into my driveway. Hmm. I and, hate that. Uh, <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> it was like a chemical bomb that like expanded and then finally it exploded. And I was like, I didn't know what it was, and I went over and. It was just like a bottle full of shit. So I kicked it, and when I kicked it, it exploded, and all the chemicals got in my eyes. And I had to, like, my dad had to lay me in the ground and just hose me in the eyeballs with uh, piss, dude. He pissed my face. No, what? I love it. You're like, this is getting kind of quiet. (laughs) Pee pee? Does that save me? My dad peed on me. No, he hosed me in the uh, eyes with the water. And, uh, uh-huh, boring, boring water. Yeah, come on. No, and I remember it, like, for sure hurt for a little bit, but I remember I never liked the guy, so I made a bigger deal out of it than, I mean, for sure it was dangerous and he shouldn't have done it, but mm-hmm. I was like, I can't see. I can't, I could see. I can't, right. I don't know. I can't see it. Now my dad's like, you can't see. He, what the fuck? And he's like yelling across the streets and they're like hiding behind the tree. Like they see what's happening. And the bombers? So the, yeah, the bombers. <laughs> they're just my neighbor kids. And so I'm going like, I can't, I can't. The kid went to jail, but he just threw like basically a juice box over the fence yeah. at you and you kicked it and got juice on yourself and freaked Grenade. out. Grenade. It's a Boku. Yeah, he had, yeah, he served, he served four to seven. Owie. Uh... <laughs> Damn, dude. Damn, that's crazy. The dude was making a chemical. He, he he did chemical warfare on you. Yeah, he just dropped a chem bomb in, in my when I'm out there just aggressively hacky sacking. Yeah, Damn. he probably just had a crush on you. He was just trying to meet you, be best yeah. friends. Don't you remember when you used to I do that? Like pull girls' that. hairs, yeah. like throw bombs at them to make them love <laughs> <Yeah, right>. you. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, she'll be friends with me once she can't see me. Ah, uh, middle school. <laughs> I'll be her guide person. She'll think I'm pretty. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Oh, oh God. Too much. Hey, oh, guys, oh, too right. much. <laughs> that was too much. Oh, that God. Was too much. <sighs> <sighs> let's go. You guys are too much. By the way, our let's go, Um, how a few episodes ago we shit on let's go the entire time. Awesome. Mm-hmm. Still stand by that. Still think yeah. it's yeah. W- way overused. Yep. Uh, but I was listening to the podcast today. Let's uh, go. The new one just dropped. Let's go. Mm-hmm. 
And mm -hmm. how are we doing? I haven't listened to it in a while. Like, what's up? Like, number one. We're number one. Is it still good? Is it like, huh? <laughs> it is doing really good. The last podcast I'd listened to, <laughs> it's yeah. a humdinger, man. Treat yeah. yourself. I got to check it out. Uh, but we start the podcast off with a, and I'm pretty sure it's Blake, going, let's go. <laughs> like, <laughs> sincerely. <laughs> really a sincere let's go? I feel like Blake has said let's go. And you know what? We're here for you, man. If you feel like you need to shake it out and get Do that you, out of your system. We'll yeah, I, I will say that when you guys kind of came at Let's Go, I mm -hmm. was in the corner kind of shaking because that <laughs> is kind of the motto I live shake my life by. Is you're, it's the, left, you're part of it? You're the it, let us go? You're the us? Yes, it's, it's the let's go attitude. So when YOLO died out, you were like, who am I? What, yeah. what do I do? Where do I go from go. here? Where do I go? <laughs> well, I know uh, I know that we let's should. <laughs> yeah, so go. you know, it was it is tough for me and I am What do you think it is? Let's should go. <laughs> let's should go. No. You think the S is for should? <laughs> no, Durs, keep up, man. Wait, Come let on, should go. What are we talking about here? What's going on? I like what's happening. <laughs> let should go. I was talking with Blake. Right. He and, was talking and, with me. You guys rudely interrupted. You guys got zoned, zoned out. I'm having a whole conversation over here. I know I did. I was like, I'll, I'll come back when this is over. Yeah, it was, it was boring. <laughs> no, that was, some, that was a, a hot topic. We that was, remember too. our podcast? <laughs> come on, man. No, this is not what the people want. That's who we are. Honestly, I don't listen to it. I was tripping today, and I was like, oh, is it still good? Like, what's that? And I'm like, hey, man, man, we're doing what we do. That's mm -hmm. it. That's it's true. We're doing what we do, for sure. <laughs> we're doing what we do. That's it. I mean, I would, I will say that I have grown to really enjoy podcasts, not only ours, but, you know, there's a few that I check out, and, uh, yeah, I'm into Did them. Did you say I will say? I will say. That's also a funny callback. Are you bringing up owls again, homie? I will say. Yeah, for always, every day. Owls. Adam's scared of them, dude. Do not get him started. I did wear a bird shirt. What's a podcast? What's what's one of your what are you listening to, dude? Um, I like to listen to the podcast <laughs> Poog. It has it's with Kate Berlant. It's just these two girls like talking about just the exact opposite of mm -hmm. shit we talk about, so that's kind of refreshing. Um, um, yo, when like, she does, when Kate Berlant does the serious phone calls into the banana, she's so good. It's my favorite thing in the world. <laughs> she's excellent. Um, I used to listen to that like QAnon Anonymous one just because it was. Oh, I just, uh, I just started that one. Yeah, it's, it's pretty interesting because I didn't know. Because I have a few people in my life that are QAnoners that I'm just like <laughs> trying to wrap my head around. Nice. Let's go. What the fuck they're talking about half the mm -hmm. time. Yeah. And I don't want to. Kyle looks way too serious right now. Yeah, Kyle's like, yeah, well, it all makes perfect sense. And uh, <laughs> no, I mean, I've I, I have definitely been where you were at. And I am like, I've done the research like I, I yeah I well and I'm glad I I did um fully there uh you know and it's, it's an insane rabbit hole to go down for sure uh but yeah. uh yeah the Q and with Q clearance right is that what it's called the Q, the podcast it's called Q Anon Anonymous oh I think mine the one that I listened to was called Q clearance and it, mm -hmm. it, it was good they did a good job of like kind of breaking it down mm -hmm. so you can uh understand um what the what the fuck it is? Yeah, mm -hmm. it and is what's a, your yeah. takeaway? It all makes perfect sense. Yeah, it's yeah the cool. government yeah. Uh, controls us all. And you're pretending like you're not QAnon himself, herself. We don't know. I'm Q. It turns out I'm Q. I is it that the same person Q? Yeah, listen to me. I'm Q, and they've got a Q clearance, which I guess is like a, a really high clearance in the government. So it's me. Oh yeah, that's pretty far down the alphabet for sure. Uh yeah, and I'll admit, uh, because a lot like. Q isn't taking credit uh, and isn't like coming out and being like, yo, I'm Q. Uh, it's me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Adam is Q. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Holy oh my shit. God. I'm That's him. probably the most important news we've ever. <laughs> this yeah. is huge. Wait, wait. Can you say it again? Yeah. yeah can this, you say that again? Because uh, I, Adam Devine, am. This is hard to say. Yeah. I am Q. 
Wow. <laughs> Holy shit, bro. What wow. a development. Could you imagine how disappointed everyone would be if I came out and it's like, it was me the whole time. I'm cute. They're like, okay. <laughs> yeah. But it would explain everything. It'd be like, oh, okay. I get it now. That was, that was pretty funny. I made all of these predictions. None of them came true. <laughs> <laughs> Just wait. Next week, something will happen. No, they will. They will arrest her any second now. I'm cute. Yeah. So, <laughs> so like, is, I'm cute. I'm cute. I'm definitely really cute. You're both listening to a podcast about this, two different ones. So obviously, there's like uh, an appetite for people who are on the outside looking in, trying to understand it. And w- w- is it a waste of time, or do you feel like Adam? You said you got some people in your life that are are fucking down with the sickness. So like, does it give you a window into the <laughs> world or what? <laughs> Uh, no. And, and it's mostly like, or there, no one really, really close to me. It's mostly just like trying to figure out. I also ride my bike up through Huntington all the time. And there's like a, a van that's parked there with just a giant queue and uh, a blue lives matter flag and, and a giant Trump flag. And I'm like, who is this guy? Is he just going to like step out of the vehicle with an a- AR 15 and just unload with right. a grenade? <laughs> With the chemical bomb on on me and all my cycling bros, uh, so I just kind of was like your Peloton. I wanted to uh, kind of dive in and, and figure out um, what what even it was about. Which mm-hmm. it's when they break it down, it is truly insane. But I understand that, there, that people want something to believe in. I understand why uh, conspiracy theories take hold because they don't want to believe. They want to believe in a different reality. They want to right. believe in something else. Right. Well, they want to uh, have yeah. some kind of meaning behind it all. You know what I mean? Like all the fucking hate and the violence and put a head on the on the horrific things that go on in society. So that's it's wrapped around. I mean, at the bottom of it, it's like child trafficking and... Well, for sure. Yeah, they... Pedophilia. And you're like, well, if you get there, if you dig and you get there, you're like, well... Well, yeah, for sure. I know. Like... Yeah. Like, if you have any kind of, like, higher power, like, you believe that people are controlling certain things and elements... Yeah, it's easy to. I think it would be easy to slip it. It's easy to slip into it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay. I know. I'm looking at Uh-oh. Kyle, who's kind of like. I mean, if you look, yeah. but dude, they're using child trafficking as like a fucking cloak. Where it's like, are you against child trafficking? And you're that's like, that's how they hook you. Of course. And then they go, so are we. So get in here. One hundred percent, Anders. I know. I get. No, I know. And that's <laughs> where people really get hooked. That's yeah. what happens. That's yeah. that's what's at the bottom of it. If you're looking, you know. And so everything else is just a byproduct. Well, there, there's no worse traffic than here in L.A. What would you guys do today? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you want to talk about traffic. Let's talk about the 405. Well, right? that's what... Dang parking lot. Let's talk about traffic. You ever get honked at and you're like, oh, I better go. That's me holding up a kid probably in a trunk behind me, Q and nine. <laughs> dude we got it on we we got it they they did something on uh on murder mystery because the guy's last name and it was quince and i put a q pillow in there it was q on everything and this was like you know three whatever three years ago two three years ago and there was a mm-hmm. post that came out that was like q is in this movie and they're telling mm-hmm. me and what to do they're giving us a message through the pillow placement of this shot and yeah. I remember being on set, being like, they're like, should we put the Q pillow right there? And I was like, yeah, it looks pretty cool. It's Quince. Like, that's our character. That's where we are. Like, it makes sense. Message. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it just got spun out. And I was like, wow, what is this? <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> that's crazy. And that yeah. was like when yeah. it was still kind of young. I feel like those were the, the Pizzagate years. Right. Oh, oh, right. The, oh, the, Pizzagate oh, the sweet years. Pizzagate year. If we could just go back there. <laughs> Uh, yeah. <laughs> to to totally change subjects, um, nice. I am Q. I'm I'm Q. Let's do that. <laughs> yeah, good call. Let's um, do it. <laughs> mm-hmm. Wait. And as Q, I'd like to <laughs> change the subject. Uh, and thank you for putting my pillows uh, in murder mystery, Kyle. Uh, all hail Q. All, all hail Q. Love, love, all love hail my pillow. Q. Love my pillow. All hail Q. <laughs> um, uh, are we? How do we feel about for sure? Mm. For sure, SNL 
writers listen to the Ooh. podcast and stole Dursey's Ratatouille controlling uh, someone having sex mm-hmm. bit that we did as a throwaway bit here on the on the cast. Mm-hmm. We throw they, those bits away. And you know what they do? They take them out of the trash bin and they build a fucking career out of them. Mm-hmm. Hey, you're welcome, Snell. Yeah. 30 Rock. I, I, you know, I wasn't too bummed. I, I saw it happening live and I was like, what a, like, if it is the case, like, it's all Wait, good. you saw it? You were watching SNL live? <laughs> I was. I am, a, <laughs> I am on Saturday night. Come on, night? Machine Gun Kelly was performing. Oh Stop. My God. Stop. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yeah. God. <laughs> okay. Not even, uh, all right. Yeah. Look, I, if the sketch was like a huge hit and like very good past the opening premise of the mm-hmm. Ratatouille thing, mm-hmm. like it just and turned into something great and amazing, I'd probably be pretty salty. Like, well, fuck, why didn't I sit at home and kind of unpack that a little bit and turn it into something? If it, if it was if it was a uh, like dick in the box or something, but it wasn't good or a hit. Yeah, if it was dick yes, in the if box, it was dick big. in the box, and it was ratatouille in the hat. It's a dick in a box. Uh, then you'd be like, oh, we have. Yeah, if a- we sang dick in a box just as a funny bit here on the podcast, and then they did dick in the box on <laughs> SNL. Yeah. I could see, I could see us being a little. Well, uh, right. I, so I wonder if, uh, if, how funny will it be? We just gotta plant a bunch of Easter eggs mm-hmm. here on the podcast. Mm-hmm. So they, I'm like, welcome. Please take these bits. I'd love to see them sure. on SNL. Like that would be yeah, that'd yeah. be fun for us. Uh, so like, I will fuck your girl. Should we tell everyone to tune out? We're talking. <laughs> we're talking directly to the guy from SNL now. Yes. If everyone could turn it off, except for if you are currently employed at SNL. Yeah. Yes. Uh, please listen up. Oh. A few weeks ago, we did a bit uh, that was an uh, owl fuck your girl, and it's yeah. an right. owl who will fuck your girl. Right. Yeah. It could be a hit. Uh, and then, and then every time you ask, like, "Did you fuck my girl?" Uh, they go, "I will fuck your girl," or they say, "Who?" No, he says, "Who?" And you're like, yeah, "You." Because owls don't say, "I will yeah. fuck your girl." They yeah, say, and it, "Who?" That just goes on and on and on. And <laughs> yeah. yeah, hey, hey, guess what? That's funny. Guess what? Just like the ratatouille uh, idea, it's just a little kernel, a little nug. And right. you unpack that. You fi- it's face value. You don't have to. You don't have to go further than just the wordplay. You know, do five minutes on just the. Wor- Should we step it out for the? You want to step it out? I, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I feel like the other, the one that they did, kind of had the beginning, and then kind of had a middle, and then it kind of got murky. Didn't have an end. Let's help the, them out. Give them a beginning. SNL Ratatouille. All right, let's do the owl. Let's do the owl. Yeah, give them a beginning, a middle, and an end, so they All can right. really just kind of wrap it up. Okay. Well, also they are getting paid. Okay. By SNL to do this, do mm-hmm. we want to kind of help them along, or yeah. are we just giving them? Yeah, okay. let's do all it. Right. I don't. Yeah, this is. It's all love. Okay, so it's nighttime. Let's say. Let's say it's nighttime, right? Okay. It's nighttime. Okay. okay. Ooh, what happens? Good next? start. Good yeah. start. Ex- Owls like the night. Exterior night. Is that what we're saying? Exterior night. Owls like. We're going exterior night. Mm-hmm. That's typing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Okay, so okay. this is a, this is about a guy who comes home to his apartment, right? And his his wife or girlfriend has like her clothes off, and there's an owl there, and he's like, "What are you doing?" And she's like, "Nothing." And he's like, "Why? Are, why? Is, why is there candles lit? Why is there music playing? Right? Why is there an owl here?" And she's like, "It's not a big deal. Just let me. I'm gonna go get on my pajamas." And he's like, "God, you make hey, this uh, so weird. <laughs> it's just my owl friend." And then he goes yeah. up to the owl. He's like, uh, "Hey, was there somebody here fucking my?" Girlfriend? And he's like, and then the, the owl's who? facing away. The owl's facing away. The owl's Keenan Thompson for yeah. Oh, for sure. Of course. The owl's facing away, and then he turns his entire who? head around slowly. Right. Uh, Very to, funny. Uh, yeah. Uh, good. Good. Yes. A comedy turn. Big yeah. L. Physicality. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um. And the the guy the the guy coming into the apartment should probably be the host because it's a very reactive. Uh, they don't have to do much. It's kind of a reactive thing. Hey, I know it's not going to be Army Hammer. Oh, uh, dang. Ooh. We can unpack that, yeah. too. Um, <laughs> let's go! <laughs> uh, let's go. <laughs> and so you do, the whole, you do the whole who thing. That kind of wears out. And then uh, as he's going to be, ah, yeah, you're right. I'm crazy. I'm talking to an owl. And then when he walks away, he's like, I will fuck your girl. And he's like... <laughs> What did you say? Did you just say something? <laughs> and he's like, who? And he's like, you. Did you just say something? Or is there another bird in the room, too? It's kind of a little uh, actuary. Yeah, there's right. a parrot. <laughs> yeah, there's a parrot that <laughs> says, oh, I parrot. will fuck your girl. And he's like, I will fuck your girl. 
<laughs> there you go. And is Blake in this episode? Did Blake just get in the sketch? I would love to be on SNL. That would be yeah. really cool. We cast him, dude. Yeah, that's sick. And then uh, I guess like at the end, the, the big button at the end is like, he's like, all right, let's just go to bed. And when he takes off his shirt, he's got like cat scratches. And she was like... <laughs> What? And he's like, sorry, I got a little pussy on my chest. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't know. Oh, is uh, porn yeah. Wow. All right. Let's run that one up the flagpole over at NBC. See <laughs> maybe, right. maybe that's the fun turn at the end. The guy had cats. He's been fucking a cat. Durs, you have the best turns <laughs> or is there a dog is there a doggy style joke sure uh, the- <laughs> no, i don't even know if we need to walk down any other road besides i've got a little pussy on my chest <laughs> oh i had a little pussy on my chest yeah. a dog this, one plays, this is the last sketch before uh they clap on the stage at the end. Oh, so yeah. they go to that commercial break where it's like, dun, dun, dun. The, like, like the, the apology commercial where they're like, we're so sorry we played that sketch. Uh, don't worry. They're about to start clapping and say goodbye. Someone's going to hold up a political sign. To end the sketch, they definitely have to play that song. Who are you? <laughs> <laughs> and it just turns into the beginning of a... And then cat scratch fever. Who I really want to... <laughs> it's TSI. What else? What's Doggy what style. What theme song is that? <laughs> NCIS? Who uh, yeah, yeah that that's was... one of the CSIs. All the CSIs are Who songs, I believe. Dude, by well, the way, when's the last time you guys checked in with... Uh, with uh, like a CSI or like um, Law and Order. Checked in with one. Like, checked in huh. with the CSI? Oh, Adam, when was that? <laughs> Remember that? We checked in, Adam? When When did we check in? Huh. Uh, you guys know that I was, I acted, I was in the final episode of the CSI, right? You guys That's know right. that, right? That's right. No. I didn't know that. Well, you, you got cut, I thought, right? Didn't you? Yeah, I thought you got cut. He was a dead body, right? I got cut. No, I was a paramedic. I got cut, but I still got credit. So my credits roll at the beginning of the episode, so that's tight. Oh, but, yeah, I got yeah cut. dude. Yeah. And how did that come about? And just to just to answer that question, never seen it. Kyle, how did uh, <laughs> how did that yeah. come about? Yeah. That was a fucking joke. That Comic Con, we had new agents, and I was like, I want to act in right. uh, in CSI, but I want to be the guy who's like in a mechanic shop or whatever. And I'm like, Yeah, I seen her. Yeah, she came in here the other day. <laughs> Oh, yeah, right, come right, to think right, of right, it, right. actually, she was wearing these weird headphones. I just wanted that part in anything because mm, I thought it was a right. hilarious conversation. These weird headphones. <laughs> yeah, yeah, whatever, the, think of it, whatever the case was, was. The Ariana Grande. I like how he's improvising. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she had the Ariana Grande cat headphones. <laughs> uh, she was zooming on a laptop. <laughs> She was, yeah, she had these, she did wear AirPods, that's right, you know, that's weird. That's, that's, I hope that's why you got cut, because they're like, okay, cut, uh, hey, Kyle, I love it, love, I love, I know on Workaholics mm-hmm. you guys do, like, fun improv runs, but, uh, there's no weird, there's no weird headphones. <laughs> yeah, it's just, I was so, we, you're we, just, we, you're just naming things in the room, and, yeah, uh, a, it's not that's helping. That's exactly right, that's, that was the bit. The whole story's written, there's definitely clues already kind of baked into the story, we, we can't just add weird uh-huh. headphones to, we've already showed that. That was the bit, that was the whole bit at Comic-Con, uh-huh. and then one of these young agents was like, I can get you apart, and I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, dude, oh. let's do it, like, whatever. Also, we're filming these two people, and you're 40 feet in the background. Um, like, whatever. We need fine. you quiet. I'll go hey, do sorry. this thing. Uh, I was like, I'll go do this role, and whatever. I won't know anybody there. It'll be fucking sick. Uh, so, so brave. Yeah, so I go, and I, they, they, they're they like, okay, we're going to give you a paramedic uh, role. And I was like, tight. And then they made me shave, and I shaved, and I had to say something about a, a migraine or like, you know, you're going to got trauma or something to you. Uh, you shave for the man. And I fucking rode in a van with fucking Ted dancing. And oh, I was just shit. like sitting okay. in the back. Okay. Oh shit, dude. You rolled in a van with him? Like two set? Cast had to go to set. So I came out my trailer and I like fucking sat in the van. Did you talk to him and were like, Hey, I, I'm, uh, I'm not just a, uh, uh, under five actor, uh, an actor with under five lines. I'm 100% no. 
one hundred percent no. Big I star. was an actor. Okay, you you were just uh, yeah, you were. I was undercover, dude, on the CSI set, like fucking shaved and like my hair back in a pony, and I was just sitting in the back of the van, like just watching. And I <laughs> love like that. Cool. What season of Workaholics is this? This is like season. four. Five of workaholics or something like that okay so that's oh, you yeah. had to be undercover i was gonna say like you didn't have to be undercover to. after like season one or well i also maybe, feel but. like all four of us could just go up to ted danson and be like ted and he'd be like he'd Hi. hand us his jacket or something and be like <laughs> yeah, yeah just yeah. put that over there yeah he gives us his keys he's like yeah keep it up uh, keep it close <laughs> keep it running dude i was so stoked like i was doing and i was like nobody here fucking knows me this is great mm. and i'm like doing my line just having fun with the guy who i'm doing it with and then the dolly grip this dude bill was pushing dolly and i'm like what the fuck i know this guy and his fucking oh we know bill skateboard bill big bill from workaholics yeah, and he blows up my spot sick. he's like kyle what are you doing here you big time director slash television star like what are you doing? And people are like, Kyle, Carl, the drug dealer. Yeah. And they're like, you know this guy? And he's like, yeah, he's a fucking director. Like he, he made workaholics. And I was just like, oh. Did you still stay? What you should have done is you should have still stayed undercover and be like, I don't know. Please get away from me, sir. I don't know who this man is. I security. don't know. What are you talking about? You, were, you stayed in character. Yeah, I'm like, uh, oh, no. I'm a, I'm a paramedic. I'm, a, I'm sorry. I don't know who this man is. I'm sorry. Can I please speak with my SAG or after rep? Uh, <laughs> I would like to <laughs> complain. I don't speak with a local AD on set, okay? Wow, man. Uh, uh, are those shows good? I want to get on one. I want to be like the, eight, the eighth dude on the roster who just says something funny and then like farts off to go arrest somebody. Somebody. Yeah, this NCIS uh, New Orleans seems like a fun one to be on. Like the the right. like country With LL guy, cool J. the guy who like uh, yes, the original Friday Night Lights guy and the Too Fast Too Furious. Yeah, the original Friday Night Lights guy that always talks like this. Like for sure, he's from Texas and cannot. What do you? <laughs> he always talks like this. <laughs> well, he does. I mean, it's not like so, he has an accent. Yeah, for sure. But also, <laughs> so do British people, and they play uh, Americans all the time. And people yeah. that are from yes. the South don't always. Yeah, they do. They steal our roles. They don't always have the thickest <laughs> accent you've ever heard. You know what I mean? Like for sure, you can mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. dial that up or down. But he he can't. He's always full full tilts. That guy. I feel like that's a great job. Don't we know a guy on the show? I remember one time I was on uh, mm. on on one of the CSIs. On no. Don't we know a guy from um, from the sketch days is on NCIS? His name is Rob, I think. What is his is his name Rob? Kirkovich. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. Thank you. Good pull. Yep. yep. Summer yep. of I Tears. Shout out. It's a funny dude. He's like a lab. He's like a lab guy on there. Oh, that's right. Yeah. S which those are the hardest roles right you where you just have to you have to memorize so much jargon being a paramedic yeah it's very hard to play a paramedic <laughs> on those shows yeah or like a headphone repair man yeah it's These super are sound tough cancer, like, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, now, now that you said something uh it was a weird oh, set yeah. of headphones i worked on cut kyle <laughs> what? uh, What's you're up? a car mechanic yeah. you didn't work on the headphones yeah but she yeah she came here she had a she had a camera and some lights and uh <laughs> you're just I just figured maybe the headphones were a clue. I thought I'd just, <laughs> yeah. just tell them, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, they were like some knockoff beats by Dre. <laughs> yeah, uh, she must have got them at the corner or down, uh, uh, whatever. Mr. Uh, cut, in, cut. Uh, <laughs> cut, 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 cut. From cut. Fat Tony down at the pawn shop. <laughs> <laughs> Did you yeah, read you, the script? You, you, you can't really, you can't really. Your background, buddy. <laughs> Hey Kyle, you're uh, you're improving it, all great stuff. L love it. Um, yeah. Very. None funny. of it is usable. Uh, we are gonna have to cut this whole scene. <laughs> yeah, uh, why I you remember, I did just a... tell him tell him to be quiet. We didn't put a mic on you, sir. You're just fucking up the audio track. <laughs> you just yeah. quiet. get the background extra, please. Just shut the fuck up. Thank you. I'm undercover. Yeah, the improv could really derail the storyline pretty bad if you're just like, yeah, man, it was wild. She like killed two people and dipped. <laughs> <laughs> cut, cut. Okay, that's the hair heroin of our story. I love Blake's revelation of improv and can change the the show. Well, yeah, it's she, thing. I think she's actually come to think of it, she's actually the murderer at the end of this episode. Yeah, she had blood yeah. on her shoes. 
What? I read the script. I just was doing my homework. Anyway, I'm an alien. I got to go. I'll see you guys later. <laughs> Uh, I remember I was, when I was doing stand-up way back in the day, like when I, when we were all still living together and I did, I remember I came home and told you guys, it was like the most insane thing where I kind of knew this producer just from doing stand-up and he calls me, he's like, dude, would you ever be on a dating show? And I'm like, no, man, I don't want to be on a dating show. Like I'm trying to be like a comedian in my own right, not just like a mm-hmm. guy in a dating show. And he goes, not just a guy running Q and on. Yeah. He goes, it was a pilot for a, a game show. And he goes, you'll get 500 bucks. It'll only take the day. And, uh, if you want, I won't tell anybody, you can just play a character. And I'm like, say what? And I went and did this pilot, uh, as, uh, I played this cool guy that talks like this. His name's Mike McCoy. So He's cool. chilling, doing right. whatever. And uh, all day long, for 12 hours all day, I stayed in character as Mike McCoy doing this thing. And when I signed the paperwork for to get paid, I signed it Adam Devine. And they're like, well, uh, Mike, I you have to sign your real name in order to mm-hmm. get the money. And I'm like... Yeah, Mike McCoy is my stage name. Uh, mm. My real name's Adam Devine, <laughs> and they're nice. like, and they're like, well, hmm. Adam Devine's a perfectly good stage name. That's like a good name. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's you don't need to switch it, and uh, and it was very confusing the the whole day. But I ended up winning the game show because the producer. Like, I was just being a fucking lunatic Mm -hmm. uh, on the game show. And so they were like, yes, please, yes, keep him going. And telling the girl who is her job to, like, choose to keep me in it. She fell in love with you? Supposedly for this shitty MTV game show. They're getting married. Oh, my God. She fell fell in love with Mike McCoy. (laughs) Yeah. And, uh, like, they asked me, like, how many chicks I I, uh, – slept with and I like counted on my fingers and then I go, I don't know, 69. And she's like, what? Get this guy out of here. And she uh-huh. goes, cut. No, uh, you're gone. I'm cutting him. And the producers like took her aside and she came back and she goes, yes, Mike, you move on to the next round. <laughs> I really like you. That's the perfect number. I think uh, the first time I, I did improv like class at Second City with Adam, you were doing Mike McCoy like in a sketch, and I was like, "This is fucking hilarious," because you just uh, had it dialed in. Yeah, Mike McCoy was a factor. I went to was a, I went to school with a guy named Mike McCoy, and uh, he kind of he talked like this, and he was just kind of the coolest dude of all time. Like he was when right. we were, when we were in eighth grade, he was dating a freshman in college. What the damn? And, <laughs> like a hot chick. <laughs> He never dated a girl in high school. He was always like four or five years older. He could dunk a basketball in eighth grade. Oh, yeah. uh, He would try out for the basketball team every year, make varsity because he was so goddamn good, and then be like, I'll show up for the games. And they're like, you have to to come to practice. And Mm -hmm. he's like, nah. Just (laughs) He said, we're talking about practice. And then practice. Uh so I just was like, he's the funniest character alive. Like, just this guy who's just too cool for fucking school. So that was one of my earliest uh, earliest characters, and I did it on uh, on this weird game show. And I actually ran into so. the editor of, the, of that game show at the improv one day, and he stops me like I have, after I got off stage, and he goes, holy fucking shit, man. And I'm like, what's up? And he goes, dude, I was the editor. The, the game show was called uh, – not the game show. The dating show was called Going Down. And it was where Hello. it all takes place in like an elevator. It was a really bad premise. Thank God it didn't. And that's not what I thought it was going to be. So smart. No, no, good premise. Cost nothing. And uh, they were. Like, he was like, I cut. I was the editor of Going Down, and I thought you were the craziest motherfucker I've ever seen in my life. I was like, Oh, he thought you were real. I'm so glad that you're not a real. That Mike McCoy wasn't a real person. <laughs> That's cool. That <laughs> Kept is... him up at night. I like that. He's like, dude, oh my God. You're like, no, mate. It's a, it's a character as day. Yeah, yeah. It's a character, mate. <laughs> oh my God. It's like, me, Eddie God. Redmayne. I'm really a guy. I'm from across the pond. <laughs> 
Like God. just the most over the top British I, I, what's accent. What's crazy? God. None of us can do a British accent to save our lives. Bullshit. No way. Which is weird because I feel like it is the easiest one. Bullshit. All right, go mate. ahead, Blake. Bullshit. All right, what Blake. do you want? You want like you want like Cockney? Co- Give cockney. us a Cockney. <laughs> like, <laughs> I knew you were gonna say Cockney. <laughs> <laughs> the <Okay>. Lou. <laughs> I fucking knew you were gonna do that. What do you All want, right. Cockney? <laughs> like, go ahead. The floor is yours. Everyone, quiet. Blake. 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 You have say the floor. like three sentences. I'm trying. I gotta get into it. Like, what? It's like I got to. I gotta get into it. Like a little bit. Like, you know, we go over there. Here we go. <laughs> There you go, mate. Okay. I'm like turning All into right. Aussie. I love it. When you prove my point, yeah. I love All it. Right. That's not bad. It's like if I was, that's not that bad if I'm talking. What are you talking about? He just goes, all right. You got a lot. Oh, if you're oh, saying, you said oh. four words in different <laughs> sequences. Try it again, Blake. Try it again. Try it again, Blake. Say what's well, up. Well, you got to give me my lines. Okay, I'll read. Worse than, worse yeah. than anyone knows why his religious family fears his He's possessed by the devil. He's possessed what, by the God. devil. What are you reading? What are you reading right now? I'm reading Us <laughs> Weekly Army Hammer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Why do you have Us Weekly Army Hammer at your house, Blake? He's a fan. He's- I get Us Weekly. <laughs> what? That's Dude, tight. I don't know the- how I get it, but I get it. You are the weirdest guy I know. You get Us <laughs> Weekly magazine yes. sent to your house as yes. a... Yeah. It's got okay. his ear in the street. <laughs> you don't fuck with Us Weekly? Well, I think that's cool. No, man. Um, I don't read uh, the fucking paparazzi <laughs> magazine. Dude, your no. wedding's going to be in here, and I can't wait. <laughs> oh, he's trying to... <laughs> and, and it's going to be a smash, mate. <laughs> now I know who's going to leak it, too. You got you got the Us Weekly plug. You're hey. like, hey, hey, for uh, 12 more free issues, uh, I'll tell you where Adam's getting married. Listen, dude, if, you, if you want the honest thing about Us Weekly, I don't look at any of it except the back page. I really love the 20 things you don't know about me. They do a different person That's right. every time. It's just That's right. 25, li- it's 25 little facts. <laughs> That's horrible. That you never knew. <laughs> yeah, 20, 25. That's, 25. That's well, dude, Look, horrible. I'm not saying you can't get there, Blake. You're just Thank not you. there right now. Wow. I, thought he, was I, doing I agree. A, I, that was, I thought he was doing a good job. I don't know. Kyle, what are you talking? He Kyle said, really oh, just loves Blake. He Kyle. says he has the na- the nicest ass and shit. He just like is a really it's a really well, good friend well, of Kyle he's and definitely he's, he's definitely yeah. the no, he's the most <laughs> talented. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Kyle, and I appreciate mm-hmm. that. Like a a lot of things. No one's going to deny that. Mm-hmm. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, a lot Kyle. of things. <laughs> like Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. And doing the English accent <laughs> is definitely <laughs> one compared to what you guys got going on. Okay. That's true. Right. Nothing going on here. I'm just saying, yeah. I feel like this is proving my point. Uh... Blake can do Australian. I've heard that before, but <laughs> none of us can do English. <laughs> <You're>... <laughs> <laughs> well, so hard. What if this was kind what's... of like a, you know, like the voice or whatever? Or like, what's the one where you turn around to see who the, the person... voice? Yeah. yeah. What if they did it yeah. with like an accent competition? That'd be kind of cool. That would be cool. Okay. All right. So let me go. Mm-hmm. The uh, accent? Wow. <laughs> oh, that's dope. <laughs> go ahead. Let's hear it go. So, oh, also, I'm about to go. Let me read something. Uh, it, the Marine Directory, celebrating 42 years serving the needs of all boat enthusiasts from Santa Barbara to <laughs> San Diego. Hey, uh, uh, that was fucking really good. That was actually dope. I'm yeah, into that guy. That was. No, like you see, you see how I wasn't putting like I wasn't doing more uh, days. No, that was thick. That's better. I was no, that was actually <laughs> that, good. That was better. I was wasn't putting extra stank on it. I wasn't it, putting uh, extra stank like on it. it. I was just reading. That was actually really good, Adam. Thank I was you. surprised. Thank I, you. I wonder what region. I liked how I liked how like thick you went into into certain parts of it. You know, I thought it was yeah. really good. It did sound like a person. Yeah, well, well. see, the backstory of, of my character is I, I, I'm I, from the country. Right. You know, uh, oh, I'm from a little village. Uh, but but I, what, I moved what? from a what? To <laughs> village. Uh, I moved to... Uh, keep going. Give us another. Give us another. Give us another reading. Right. Yeah. London town. Uh, and I've been there for 12 years. And right. then uh, just within the last four years, I've actually moved to Los Angeles. And I love it here, mate. It's beautiful. Uh, the sun, the women, 
Uh, everything is just the women, uh, the, the ripping, the tearing, the ripping. Uh, I, I, I just think it's um, amazing here. And the ripping and I, the tearing. I don't know if I'm going to move back. If I'm being perfectly honest, honest. <laughs> Fuck, dude. I think you're going more Aussie. That was closer, Ozzy. Fuck. Oh, I wish people could have saw how you... Dude, that was good. Did you see how when Adam dropped out of character, it, it like left his body a little bit? <laughs> dude, honest. It's yeah. Too... Honest? If I'm being perfectly honest? Yeah. Honestly. Really? All right, okay. Durs, go ahead, buddy. Durs, so... Yeah, break us off. And and I won't be rude, just no matter how bad it is. I'm not going to be... You, you, I think, were... No, prepared to just sh shit on my accent. Mm -hmm. Right. I'm not prepared. I'm. I will shit on it only if it's uh, horrific. I can't. Long ago, ink was used to write. What we use today, today we use iPods, CDs to listen to music. What was used long ago? You lose. This is a little girl's dress <laughs> from today. Well, it's not that bad. It's okay. all right. How well, would you... Why do you sound, you sound perverted? How would one from long ago... He's look, really taking his time with all of his words. I'm just reading like a coloring book. Yeah. Well, it sounds he's like... He's really got a cool character going on. Like a candle in the wind. <laughs> Were you reading a little ch a children's book uh, that you... Do you know what I mean? You, was it something for children that you were reading? Yeah, I was reading like uh, it's something from from my. Oh, okay. Because it sounded like you were like talking to a child, like you're really. Yes, it sounded creepy. It didn't sound uh, like like it, you sounded like maybe you weren't from. You were from a non English speaking country, and you just learned how to speak uh, English in England. Right, right, right. Uh, and you were having a hard time reading. <laughs> Let me try it again. Chipotle. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Chipotle. Do you want to get a Chipotle today? Would you like? Do you want to go get a Chipotle? Okay, because you're reading a napkin. <laughs> Do you want to go get a Chipotle? Uh, yeah, I feel like I would. Yeah, I could have a burrito right now. Do you want a chicken burrito? <laughs> yeah, mate, I could get a burrito. No, do they have bangers? Do you want barbacoa? Do they have bangers and mash filling? <laughs> okay. You know Do you what? want green I'm salsa? Offended, corn uh, salsa. For the, I'm offended for <laughs> corn. British people right now. Wait, wait, wait. How do you say corn salsa? Corn. 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 How do you corn. say corn with an English accent? Corn. corn. I don't think they have corn, corn in England. They don't have to say it. <laughs> they don't say it. I think they don't. I don't think they say it. Corn. Yeah, I don't think they use it in any of their traditional dishes. I don't think corn is available. <laughs> Dude, you're, uh, you're right. being a, a way out of pocket. <laughs> For sure they love corn. Who doesn't love corn? Honestly, mate. Honestly, who throws a shoe? <laughs> uh, Adam, I think he was uh, taking his liberties with having a joke there, pal. Corn. No, I'm no, sorry. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't think so. There's no... Wait, 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 wait. There's corn <laughs> no, I don't, in I'm not England. That. Look, I'm I'll not bastardize that. the language like the best of them, wait, but Kyle. they don't, they have corn. What up? Kyle, have what? You, you got to do it. Let's hear your break. All right, mate. Off. Yeah, mate. All right, kick. Give me a fucking money. All right, right. Shit. There Fancy a fag. Go. Hey, well. probably the best. Probably the best of them all. Yeah, that might have been good. What you want? What are you looking yeah. at? Kyle is the most talented actor of us all. You having a slash? I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go have a slash. Look, Adam got her. Adam tried to turn it into something else. Adam, let him have it. Hey, all right, mate. Thanks, what? mate. We're good. Yeah, it's whatever. I guess he's got the best. He's got the best hair. He got the best face. I guess. I guess he's got the. Hey, where are we going after this, dude? No, I can't. Best shirt? Was he got a bit? No, I said Kyle's. Kyle, I've said on the podcast before, Kyle is my favorite actor of all time. Well, you just said he's the best actor <laughs> oh, out shit. of all of us, which is favorite actor yeah. of all time. There's two different things. Uh, he's the best actor out of all of us, yes. And he is my favorite actor of all time. That's insane. <laughs> Damn, bro. He's tied with Ethan Hawke for me. I would... I. I, I don't even like Ethan Hawke that much. So Are you kidding? Ethan, Ethan Hawke has his own channel on the airplane. I know. I know you love Ethan Hawke, and I and I like that for you. Ethan Hawke is the shit. Yeah, and I'm, Ethan I Hawk's like great. that you guys. I I like that you guys like Ethan Hawke. That's fun for you guys. Is this a bird thing again? You just it's the hawk part. You can't. <laughs> it might be. It might be. I don't know. I never really looked that into it. I've never loved Ethan Hawke that much. I know you guys do. I don't wow. dislike Ethan Hawke. Hey, there's a lot about New York. I don't know. <laughs> Ethan Hawke will fuck your girl. I don't dislike Ethan Hawke. I think he might have fucked my girl. Uh, <laughs> what? Uh, what's your? What don't you like Ethan Hawke in? 
There, there's a Ooh. weird uh, Tesla movie. Have, have you seen his Tesla? I don't even know if I know an Ethan Hawke movie. I just don't. Of course, you, Training Day. Let's just start with Training Day. Okay, yeah, that's a Denzel Washington movie with okay. Ethan Hawke tagging along. No, e yeah, but Ethan Hawke is great in that film. Sure, he is. but he's off the chain in it. Yeah, I like. I don't dislike Ethan Hawke. I'm just saying he's not. Kyle you know, we're it. talking about my favorite actor. It's Kyle Newichek. Thank you. Not right. Ethan mm -hmm. Hawke. Right. Uh, here's Not the thing, Hawk. Ethan Hawke. Uh, I, Adam, I appreciate it, but I did turn. I did almost watch Ethan Hawke movie the other day, and then decided not to after the trailer. Ooh, it was okay. uh, the the new Tesla movie that he that he made, where he plays Nikolai Tesla. Have you seen the? Oh yeah, that movie looks mm -hmm. wacky as hell. I was like, I don't know if I can get on board with an, an entire movie like this. Yeah, it was bizarre, dude. Like I was like, what is going on? I need more. I need more. Why bizarre? Why? Well, it had like weird interviews, mixed media, strange, like modern, mixed with back in the day. It felt like it was like all over the place, and and it also looked like they shot it just like in one room with like multimedia, like things projected on him and on the yes. wall behind him and it's it very, seemed more like an art piece and you don't like that you don't like that do you which <laughs> which i feel mm -hmm. uh it's I, not your style i feel like it's sometimes uh when a movie feels too much like a just art installation i'm like i can't mm -hmm. get on board with this i need an actual story who and, directed it some julian schnabel type cat I don't know who did. It reminded me of like some early Nicholas Winding Refn shit. You know what I mean? But way on on steroids. You know, like really, like everything is art. What would be an example of that person's work that you just mentioned? Drive or Nick, um, drive Got or him. what's too, the, what's the one before it with uh, Too Old to Die Young? Watch okay. it. What's the one before it with Tom Hardy? Drive fucking ruled. What's the Tom Hardy one? Uh, monster? Not monster. Batman? No. Beast. It's called something like that, though. It replaced a boxer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Bronson? Oh, yeah. Bronson. Yeah. Bronson, Bronson was, yeah, like, yeah, really yeah. stagey. Like, it was like, it's like a movie that was conceptualized for the stage. Right. Which is cool. Mm -hmm. Right. But also, right. it's like, mm, right. I don't right. know right. if I can do that a lot. That's right. Bronson. Yeah. Yeah, this, the guy that did it, he's a uh, older dude, 61, Michael Almeriada. I feel like I've heard That's that. That's how name. you say it, for sure. Didn't butcher that. Huh. Say that with an English accent. Yeah. Oh, Michael Almeriada. Almeriada. Cool. Uh, yeah, and it seems like he's done a, a ton of stuff. All oh, pretty, pretty artsy. So if that's yeah. your thing. What else? Anything else? Anything else that we would, would know? Mm, I mean, no. It's like a lot of shorts. It seems mm -hmm. like he, he was a writer of like a lot of mm -hmm. art house movies that I don't believe in. He's getting a big shout all. out here, though. Like, is uh, yeah. it like JFK oh. or like Natural Born Killers kind of shit? Oh, see, now, Ooh. Natural Born Killers, I was talking about that the other day. That's Oliver Stone's most artsy flick. I mm. I don't think I've ever watched Natural Born Killers. JFK's pretty wild. No, not as wild Not as wild as fucking Natural Born Killers. He shot with every camera. Natty Bo? I call it Natty Bo. Go ahead. He shot with, like, every camera. He had every type of medium on that movie. And he was just like firing. That shit was bizarre, dude. But that had like it's just it's just bananas, mate. <laughs> that had like drugs and chaos, and I think the subjects worked really well. Like it's mad, it's mad, mate. It's just it bad. was just fucking madness, mate. It, it was, it was mad. like he, he had every kind of medium working on it. it yeah, it was yeah, just baby. crazy, man. I'm an Al I'm just an Alexander guy. Uh, I wonder if we sound like we're from you know how like when. English people say the easiest American accent to do is like a te a Texan accent, like a, a, the South, yeah, from the South specifically. Uh, I wonder if we all sound like we're from cer some certain part of England, where they're like, "Oh yeah, you guys are all Westonshire." I think when there's more, I think there's more to grab onto. It's easier. Company, you get you when you something like this to do, mate. You got something, then you're like, oh, I get what it is. But when it's subtle, your heart, you're like, where do I grab onto it? Yeah, true. I wish I had this specific link, but there's this dope ass YouTube video of this guy who's like a pro accent dude, and he just kind of like walks along the map of England with like his finger and it switches up like his inflection and everything. It's like crazy. And you hear what all- That's cool. Oh, Fred Armisen does that. Fred Armisen does that about America and it's fucking insane. It's crazy. He goes like in this side of the city and this. Oh yeah. yeah. 
I've seen that. Fred, Fred fucking rules at that shit. Yeah, it's super. I mean, the the fact that he was in our movie for ten seconds was a fucking <laughs> the coolest. Godsend. Yeah, unreal. Yeah, man, he but just when, showed up and rolled. Anybody out there? He was in Game Over Man and kind of stole some scenes by not even saying anything. He stole them, and we'd like him back. Fred, yeah. if you're okay, everybody else turn 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 it down. We would like to talk with Fred. All these SNL stealing ass. Uh, mm -hmm. We would like those scenes back because you definitely stole them. Thank you. Everyone can turn it back up now. Thank you. Back up. Thank you. Yeah, it's um, it's pretty uh, discouraging when you see how good some actors are. It really makes me feel pretty worthless. Um, and just being on this mm -hmm. pod with Kyle, yeah, it's yeah, it's it's tough. It is tough. Uh, yeah, I, I don't I don't do it enough. I guess you know if I truly am your guys' favorite. No, maybe that's that's why I think you're so good. Is you uh, you're you're like a uh, you're like a natural. You know. Yeah, where'd you pick that up from, Kyle? Where'd you get the accent thing from? Mm -hmm. Uh, well, I work with a lot of Brits. I, I, I've had mm. conversations mm. and I have looked mm. like a complete fool when mm -hmm. Luke Evans is like, now should I be from this part of England or this part? And I'll say, do right. them both for me. And I'll be like, they both sound the same mm -hmm. to me. And then he's like, no, mm -hmm. this is this and this is this. And I'm like, okay, I got it. And then do you flex on him because you're the director? You're like, what the fuck did you just say to me? Yeah. Did you just did say you no? Me? I don't fucking think so. And then you, <laughs> you like flip over the, the crafty table. Luke Evans. That dude, the Brits are, those Brits are fucking solid ass performers, man. I love them. Yeah. Love them well, death. they go through a whole different thing. Like the, over there, they go through like school. the sh Shakespeare <laughs> school. Yeah, and, they and learn here, they're it's, like, yeah, yo, they're I did good. YouTube from seventh grade to high school and like, I'm good to go. I used to watch Fred Figglehorn and study him. It's got yeah. a different, uh, they're definitely a different type of craft for sure. That's why they come over and they snatch that shit. They yeah. take our fucking roles. Because they fucking, they hit it. They, they come to work and they, they, they get it done. Well, thank yeah. God Mike Myers came with Austin Powers and took a roll back from him. But are his parents you, British, right? Like Canadian? <laughs> you do. You do, Blake. <laughs> Canadian style? Are his parents British? Mike Myers? Yeah. I think his dad was Irish or something. Am I tripping on that? Oh, like because that's the Commonwealth, I believe. Mm. Uh. Did you guys see the <laughs> the Wayne's World? Did you see Wayne's World is back for some Grubhub commercials? No. What? Is it now? Is it now? Swing, swing. Yeah, they're doing Super Bowl commercials. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Uh well come on did we see that diehard fucking Bruce Willis commercial for the batteries? They hyped yeah. that shit and I was like yeah but this one was fucking tight dude Wayne and Garth back they clicked right back in. You've already seen the commercial? Yeah, how'd you see it? I I it's like a Grubhub something you can look it up. I saw it yesterday. Is it real? And I was like I'm a DoorDash guy. I was like look yeah. at these guys they're fucking like clicked right back in. It was cool. But what's the deal? I thought the whole thing with the Super Bowl this year is like no commercials or some shit. Like didn't like Budweiser pull out and Well, they the whole bit of the Grubhub commercial is like, yeah, the big bowl. Like we can't say the name, the well, Super also, Well, that's every commercial. They're not allowed to. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I hate that shit. It makes it makes me like dislike the NFL a little bit. I'm like, okay, just let people say Super Bowl. Oh, it's Uber. Sorry, it's Uber Eats. It's not Grubhub. It's Uber Eats. Yeah, yeah. Just let people say Super Bowl. It's fucking bizarre that everyone has to say the big game. But they can't because the next thing you know, they're they're using the NFL's thing to sell their shit. So like the next thing you know, they're going to be making T-shirts and selling all that shit, and they can't. Do you, I mean, it'd be like if everyone was just saying workaholics all the time and you didn't get any of that money. My mom has a shirt that she yeah. bought online that has like all workaholic shit on it. And it's like, I didn't, that's not even. Jet Set made it. <laughs> yeah. Jet Set Where'd made you get it. that, mom? It's like yeah, got I the MOC logo on it. Like the mail order comedy logo shit. on the end. She's got a sick ass fucking tank top. And I'm like, where did you get that? I want that. I mean, I, I love bootlegs. Well, we gotta we gotta get that from your mom, and then re mm -hmm. we rebrand it, reproduce it, and sell it through our merch, right? Like T Swift, yeah. how she re-recorded all her shit. Which, by yeah. the way, guys, we have merch. I I feel mm -hmm. like it's cool seeing people out there with the merch on now. I posted yeah. the other day, like the, some girl that kind of looks like uh, goons uh, dancing uh, in uh, uh, <laughs> this is dude. important sweater. 
Yeah. Um, and people look great in it. They look so good in armor. I do yeah. dig the sweater. I wore it. I wore it for like three days, and it's really cozy. Nice. You juice mm -hmm. it out, or or was it able to uh, sop up all that Nuichex stank? I dug it. Yeah. No. Did did you ruin it through th three days of constant wear, or was it able to handle that that uh, punch in aroma? Mm -hmm. it, it handled it. it. Soaked it right up. Well, see, that's how good our merch is, uh -huh. guys. When you threw it on the floor at the end of the day, did it kind of start inchworming away from you? Like, <laughs> well, I was at the yeah, right. I was at the end of quarantine, and I definitely was some pungent. I was pungent, and yeah, uh, for I sure. Wore, Are you rocking deodorant these days? When I go out of the house, yeah. Yeah, like on okay. set, you rock it. Okay, yeah, cool. you you do you do flap it on. I wear it for other people. I don't wear it for myself. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean that's huh. we've had that conversation though. Mm. I will say that I've this year I've gone more, I've gone longer because I'm a shower at least once a day type of guy. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Lucky. I've gone, I've gone like two or three days in the quarantine where I just didn't. Uh, and, and it is, it, it is a nasty ass smell. There's a reason yeah. that we, did you work out those days? No, no. It'd okay, be like, cool. it'd be like, that'd be gnarly. Yeah. Um, uh, but I've definitely worked out and then didn't shower right away. Cause I know I'm going to do a, a workout later in the day. Mm -hmm. Like I do a morning and then it'd be like, yeah. And then, and then halfway the, through the day, I'm like, I'm going to, huh? the swamp nuts and all that. I feel like my nuts, uh, they don't. Uh, have sweat glands so for real uh, yeah my shit is so mm. swampy dude i hate it i, I hate it. Balls. it i could see you having some <laughs> some some swampy nuts for it's sure it's really hot really yeah. hot and it's just frustrating like it's like that's why i went back to boxers that's why i stopped wearing sacks some sometimes of the year because they got it got too hot yeah. you know you me, gotta I wear just, something a little more breathable buddy i was a sax no man doubt. for sure should we go I shopping just, again I, should we well, go shopping again yeah i'm down i'm down to go shopping once freaking once we can oh my god i can't <sighs> wait once the stores are open again it's not all on the internet i know the first thing we're gonna do is go shopping mate let's do this let's go shopping mate all right mate let's go pick up some baggies we'll go to, Lo we'll go to london square uh any take backs uh what? put downs or giveaways guys you know, I want to apologize to the listening audience for my uh, British accent. If you guys can just give me, I'm going to take a week, and I'm going to come back, and I'm going to blow your freaking minds, guys. Nah, we're moving on. Oh, hey, uh, I don't believe that, Blake. I bet we're all going to forget about this uh, within a week, and <laughs> you're not going to blow anyone's mind. Much like we forgot about the Grammy bet that we made. Well, the Grammys never aired. They got delayed. Oh, it never happened? No, they got pushed. They right, didn't cool. release the the winners. No. The what Grammy, happened? The they're Grammys just not got, doing the Grammys, or they're going to do it at a different. I mean, to my knowledge, I think they were pushed, like COVID pushed, like they haven't announced anything yet. I thought they were supposed to be this past weekend. No. I mean, I hmm. feel okay. Well, we we have hundreds of dollars on the line. So Blake, when you figure that out, see who's a, who owes who what, and uh, and let us know. Yeah. I would also like to take back uh, my my uh, British accent. I don't think mm -hmm. it was my best showing. I do think oh, oh, oh. I was able to. Um, I was I was trying to throw it away a little bit, but then sometimes certain words I'd get tripped up on, and uh, yeah. I won't come back next week with it uh, being better. I, I definitely will Thank forget you. all about this um, mm -hmm. until I listen to the podcast, and then in about three weeks from now, I might bring it back up on the podcast. That's cool. Resurfing. Mm -hmm. Okay, copy that. Cool. After it airs and you listen to this, then you'll bring Absolutely. it back up. Absolutely. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. correct. We know the cycle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, after hearing you guys talk about my performances and it's great. It's awesome. And I appreciate that. I really and you know, I, I want to compliment CSI for cutting me out of the last episode mm -hmm. because it made you hungry. If mm -hmm. that were out there, <laughs> I, I don't think it was a good performance. Mm. Oh. Lit a fire think, under you, didn't it? I don't think I had enough to latch on to in that role. And uh, you needed more meat on the bone. Oh, bad writing. So you're saying bad writing. Blame the writers. Okay, but that's kind of the actor's role is to just to, to find. I didn't know. I think I was miscast, and it started from a joke. It didn't start so from casting. a place of the heart. You know, like casting it was like normally writing. my roles come from the heart, and that's why they're good. Um, yes. So your parents. I don't. I I don't know. I don't know. As as an audience member of yours, I don't know. That's why I like you. 
Mm. Well, that's why I like acting. Hurt. I like acting because when the roles come from the heart, and I think that that's what shows. Sarah, I, I, I agree with you. <laughs> mm. I agree with you 100%. Uh, I, know, I know where you're coming from. Something something deep down in you that connects to the thing that you're portraying, for sure. I get that. Yeah. And we're talking about the role of Carl, right? Because what That's else? the other thing he's acted in? Yeah. Yes, uh, that's yeah. Yes, that's the okay, one. Yeah. That's the one. Okay, yes, that was a heartfelt mm-hmm. performance, for sure. Yeah, and that came mm-hmm. from me. That was yeah. beautiful. Uh, I, mean, I, I think I think I'd apologize to, to everybody, including you guys, because every week when we're like, all right, take backs and apologies... I don't. I don't remember anything we've talked about yeah. for the past hour, and I'm like going through my shit, and I kind of always piggyback on things you guys remember, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, that, that, that. Um, but my brain doesn't work this way, and I, I'm sorry about that. Okay, hey, forgiven, oh, bro. You're all yeah. good. Forgiven. Yeah. Yeah. I have a hard time remembering what the fuck uh, we've talked about as well. So. Pod jazz. I wish we had. It is. It's pod jazz, people. Yeah, maybe our producers can just type up like half sentences that like are every ten minutes. Yeah, like hey, maybe you should apologize for this. Uh, like possible things that they want us to apologize for. That's <laughs> like, cool. yeah. hey, yeah. Uh, you know what? Uh, me saying I'm Q. I stand by it one hundred percent. See you guys next week on the podcast. Oh I'm Q. <laughs> uh, and that's the and that's it. <laughs> Was that the end? Did you just end it for us? <laughs> I think you, I think so. This okay, well then, guys, important. this was <laughs> this, this is important. This is important. <laughs> 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 <laughs>